this is a review of uh, some of the concepts we talked about in terms of weight. Okay, and for the to start off here, let's go let's go quickly and say first the definition of weight. Well, weight is the force of gravity acting on an object. So weight is Fg. Okay, weight is not g. Okay, little g. Okay, weight is the force of gravity acting on something. So weight, since it's a force based on Newton's second law, a force is equal to the mass times the acceleration of gravity, little g. Okay, the average little g on the Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared and if we want to put a direction on that if we need a direction we could call we would say minus 9.8 meters per second squared and that would be because gravity acts downward okay so what variable is used to represent weight well fg okay Okay, what variable is used to represent the acceleration due to gravity? Well, many times in the class we've used the variable A. Okay, A, the acceleration due to gravity, because it is an acceleration, right? But for gravity, there's a specific variable that we can use instead of, instead of A, and that variable is the acceleration of gravity is little g, and that's 9.8 meters per second squared. And like I said up above, getting ahead of myself a little bit, um, if you wanted to make that give it a direction, you could put a negative sign in front of that and give it a downward direction. Okay, specifically, what is the direction of acceleration due to gravity on Earth? Well, it's downward, right? Downward. And that is, and that's the, and that's why the, the negative sign comes in. Huh? So what units are used to measure mass? Well, if you see a problem and you see the units kilograms, in this class, kilograms are a mass. You know, grams are a mass too, but we typically use kilograms in this class. What units are used to measure weight? Well, in this class, we use SI units for all of our units. And so for weight, since weight is the force of gravity, and it's a mass times a little g, then weight is measured in Newtons, N. Okay. So what does what factor does weight really depend on? Well, it depends on what what two objects are exerting the force of gravity on each other. Okay. So if you're on the Earth, your your body is having the the force of the Earth is exerting a force of gravity on you. Okay. And that acceleration due to and that and that's that force is related to an acceleration and that acceleration is little g so it's related to little g okay and on earth that's 9.8 okay and that is that is the acceleration due to gravity on the earth okay on the surface of the earth Okay, and it would be different on the moon or Jupiter or Pluto. It would be different on Jupiter. It would be greater on the moon and Pluto. It would be less. Okay, so it depends on the size of the other body, the other object, um, in terms of the, how much acceleration is exerted. So the Earth, the Earth on the Earth, it's nine point eight. Okay, where do you weigh less on the top of a mountain or sea level? Well. We talked about that yesterday, and and basically, um, you, the acceleration due to, or the force of gravity is dependent on your distance to the center of the Earth. So if you're standing on the center of the Earth, it's dependent on this distance. Okay. So if you're standing on top of a mountain, on to, on the Earth, you're farther from the center of the Earth. Okay. So since you're farther from the center of the Earth, the force of gravity is going to be less. So where would you weigh less? On top of a mountain. Okay. Now the other one, 
where do you lay less the equator of the North Pole? Well, the Earth rotates on an axis at about a thousand miles per hour. And that rotation causes what's called an equatorial bulge. And that equatorial bulge, okay, means that the distance from the center of the Earth to the surface of the Earth is greater at the equator than it is at the North Pole or the South Pole. Okay, so if you're far, if you're at the equator, you're farther from the center of the Earth than you are at the North Pole. So where would you weigh less? The equator. Okay, so calculate the weight of a woman with a mass of 50 kilograms on the Earth. Well, weight. is equal to Fg, and Fg is equal to the mass times little g, and that's equal to 50 kilograms times little g, which is, I'm, I'm just going to use, I'm not going to put a direction on this, I'm just going to make it 9.8, there's no direction on it, right, keep it simple that way, and that's that. And if I multiply these two guys together, I get 490 newtons. Okay, so that would be the weight of a woman with a mass of 50 kilograms on the surface of the Earth, assuming a G of 9.8. Okay.